What's up everybody, welcome back. With this latest major update, we've gotten a brand new map from Gaijin. And this map is going to be a lot of fun. I can definitely tell because this map is crazy. I can tell that Gaijin has definitely learned from their mistakes. They've addressed and fixed some things and it's going to be really fun. But they've also left a glaring hole. And I think that if we get enough spotlight brought to this, that we can get it fixed sooner rather than later. So make sure to comment. Let me know what you like about the map. Let me know what you dislike about the map. And then also, let's just, you know, add in a Gaijin fix this comment to see if they can actually fix it. And I'll bring it up to the to the uh, CC Discord and see if we can, can get something done about it. Now, back to this. I am gonna leave the HUD on and off sometimes just to help clarify some things or just make it easier to see with that also i'm trying to fight a cold so if i cut out sometimes so i'm trying not to cough or whatever else in the mic but let's go ahead and start off with what is the most important here the a point all right this is what the entire map is about well a good portion of it depending on the br that you play this zeppelin will get replaced with a crashed transport ship and then that'll kind of dictate the the era. There will also be some other little tidbits around. <clears throat> Excuse me. There will be cell phone antennas. There will be radio antennas. There will be all sorts of other little changes. Some of the houses will change. The train over at the B point, which we'll talk about later, will change. And I think some of the artillery pieces and what is in this bunker network or trench network will change. This trench network is one of the things that I do want to talk about because I think this thing is absolutely beautiful. I think it'll add a lot of surprise attacks. There's just so much that can be done with these. You can hide so many small tanks in this. This cami netting is absolutely beautiful. SPAAs can hide under here, pop out and attack. You can fit small tanks under here really well. I went around and, and did some stuff with it. Now, I will say these blisters or these pods on the Zeppelin, you can shoot and they will explode. I don't know if I found any with the the crashed airship that will make explosions or whatnot. Maybe there's fuel containers or something laying around. But, you know, this entire network here, you can get in here, you can hide in there. For hide and seek, oh my gosh, playing hide and seek on this map will be absolutely massive massive this thing will be so much fun but this network extends all the way over to the b point and then from the b point you know you've got the train and you've got all this other small buildings it looks like it's a bit of a mill small town but it doesn't provide a ton of cover but it does provide some which is, is really good. Now, I know we've mostly been talking about this side of the map so far, but I'm gonna go over the points first and then we'll go over the rest of the map because the points are really, you know, the point of the map other than, you know, it's obviously to shoot the other players. But the train yard is pretty cool. Now, when I shot the train, it did show that these are crude. So I don't know how they're going to do that if it was intentional if the train can be taken over or what the case is let me know in the comments if you know if you played the map at this point but this network is absolutely amazing it extends out this way and then you get into this tunnel and then you can get over to the C point and it's just I think this is gonna be so good especially for this this southern side I think they beat southern yeah the southern side now the C point is super open there's not a lot of cover and it's pretty much gonna be you know a shooting range once you get there i don't know if you can crash through this wall i'm guessing not gaijin isn't very good about allowing us to destroy buildings this is a huge stone wall so i don't see tanks being able to drive through that relatively easy this exterior thing here might be able to knock it down Obviously those houses might be able to, but I'm still guessing no. Now, I do want to point out, you can't get up onto these stairs. Guy can put a no boundary zone. Like it's literally a force field. You can't get up into the, to the stairs there, but everything else here, you should be able to get through and get to, should be pretty good. I think as far as the points, I think that kind of covers the main gist of them. 
Now we're gonna go into each side spawn. I'll start with the south side and then we'll talk about the north side. So let's get to that. So with the south side spawn, it continues with this theme of bunkers and trenches. And I do say bunker because there's actual bunkers down here. This side is a little bit less and you've got some roads that you can come through. This burnt out area here is in zone but I don't really see a purpose in hiding in here unless you're SPAA, which all the smoke will make it hard to hard to see aircraft. So I think unless you're a radar SPAA, but I'll need to double check the higher BR of this map to see if that's still there. I'm sure it'll be something of some sort. Now, again, you've got this road, you've got a tunnel there, you've got a tunnel there that should give you pretty easy access You've got a couple caminets, bunkers. Now, like I said, when we were talking about the points, this map is not flat, which is great. That's a lesson that Gaijin has learned, and I think it'll make it absolutely amazing for not just getting sniped from absolutely everywhere. But at the same time, I think that if you pop up somewhere, like on top of this, you have a good chance of getting sniped from everywhere because the map is not flat. All right, back over to this spawn side over here, the south spawn. All right, so we talked about that side. This middle section is pretty much what you would expect. It's just some small rolling hills. It's a gentle grade. It's got some networks of trenches and whatnot, but you'll have to be careful. Like most of the trenches, especially with Eastern uh, province, if you try to cross them, your tank will get stuck. So be careful about that. You might be really limited to using the, the road network unless you're a bigger tank and you know you can drive over them. So this spawn over here, where'd it go? I lost it. That side, this side, there it is. Man, this map is big. Okay, so this side continues the same. You know, nothing nothing we haven't seen on this map either, you know. It, it does look pretty good. It does provide some, I don't know how well you can see from like this hill here. Um. I mean, it's it's doable, but this map, this map is not a sniper's paradise. This is gonna be pretty much you have to have tactical presence when you play this map. Then you got a nice road that goes up to the A point. You got a road that goes to the A point. You got a road that goes to the B point. This side has a road that goes to the B point. So lots of paths to the points that can get you there safely. Now, obviously, you know, after they take it, they push up. You know, there's a couple spots here that, you know, there, there's nothing you can do about that. But at least it should give you options to at least third person them and see if they're there and try to keep from getting. Sh That's not what I wanted. Hold on, I gotta turn this back on. Okay. And then you can keep from getting shot. And so it's like, we come through here. Yeah, if they're sitting up on top of the hill like there, they're if they push to right to that hill, obviously, you know, there's not much you can do except for use the other spawn. But, you know, getting to the A point should be should be pretty okay, I think. Now, of course, this is this is hindsight. Players will always break and destroy everything, but I think this is pretty good. I like it. I'm excited to play it. All right, so we've talked about the south spawn. Let's go ahead and talk the north spawn and then we'll get to that blurring hole that this map has and the problem that it's causing. All right, so we're on the north side of the map and the first spawn we're gonna talk about is this one here. The left spawn from the, the north side or right side if you're looking at the map, but it's left if you spawn in. Eh, that's always so confusing, but we'll take it for what it is, the A6 spawn, okay? This one, it doesn't have as fast of access to the other points like the south side did. It gets you pretty fast access to the C point and it gives you a huge wall of cover to be able to sit behind and kind of, you know, wait and take your options, see if there's something that you can attack. Now, you can get to about right here. I think this is the edge of the map, so you can't go hide in there. You can't get up on top of this hill. It all ends like right, right there, right at this, this hill set. So don't think about getting to that, although that would be pretty interesting 
an OP, but it's something that's not really in the cards. I just realized there's pretty nice rock there to hide behind. It does have a road here that might make it a little bit faster to get around, but you still have access to that tunnel if you want to push through. And then, so if you wanted to get to the B point, you're going to have to go through either up and over the hills, which isn't horribly bad because you've got so much rolling hills. You might get shot at and duck down in time before the round hits you if you're at the lower PRs. But I would definitely work with the trench system and use it. Now, this hill here is, is pretty good at being able to see to see some things if you want to sit on it somebody crossing through you know going a b or b a whatever you want to call it should be to do pretty good shooting around the c points is going to be a little bit problematic you have a hill right there the blocks line of sight so you can't really do that if they're coming through the tunnel or whatever else and all the buildings there cause problems now the other spawn is right here oh i thought that was like a stone hinge for a second i was like what the heck are they doing this move Oh no, it just makes fire. Okay. So this spawn right here gives you pretty fast access to the A point, the B point, and the C point is still kind of blocked off. You'll you'll have to kind of figure out, you know, if you need to get there. So I think that that's a disadvantage for the north. This side has got pretty good access to both or all three spawns. So you can't get again fully over here and then the the line cuts off right about the outside of this road so this this line right here is probably about it but that'll get you over to to there all in all i think i think both spawns are pretty good now let's get to the to the problem with this map all right because with this side over here there isn't any one good spot that you could sit at to snipe both spawns they are in bunkers i mean you could honestly sit here but there's so much trees there's so much cover and there's so many you know little hills that it doesn't make it that that useful this map has a huge hole over here this village can see both spawns easily and it gives you a ton of cover and it doesn't show up on spawndar so I think this is something this village either needs to get replaced with just trees, it needs to move, it just needs to be a road. Honestly, if they moved the village over to, I don't know, I think the village just needs to go. But if you sit down in the village, let's get down in there, there's, I'm really disappointed about this, but it gives great ability to see in there. And if they pop out, you can get them. And then from the same side over here, the spectator camera doesn't move super fast. You sit over here, they spawn like right at that tent and back into this area here. You can snipe at them all day long. So I think that if you actually sit here, this is a bit better spot to be able to take that side and the other side. So man, I suck with this spectator camera. So yeah, this is something that I think needs to get fixed. It's it's a simple fix. Just delete the village. You can leave the roads. In fact, get rid of get rid of all these buildings and just just leave the church in this and, and spread it out. I don't know. At war, move the village to there, move this tree here. I don't know. Or hear hear me out. Put a rock outcrop right here there there we go that'll do it that's an easy fix gaijin put a rock outcropping right here so that there's just this little hole that they've like dug through the rock and then for this side over here i don't know um i guess do the same thing rock outcropping right here where these windmills are move the windmills down to there and block that out yeah see they've already done it right here look perfect example of what to do gaijin you've done it it's right here these two rocks same thing just do it here and then over here easy fix you don't even have to get rid of the building just put an extra rock in okay simple fix well i hope you guys have enjoyed this i hope it will help you learn this map a little bit better i hope that you guys have a ton of fun on it because i think i will too i'm i'm excited to play it i'm gonna throw in some some highlights from the 
higher Beard map so you can see that and then we're going to get out of here and let you get enjoy the rest of your day if you've enjoyed the content make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it so much that you would want to subscribe that would be a great help to the channel and make sure you share this with all your friends family dog cat bird whatever you've got so that they can learn how to play war thunder and become better at the game as well